Hi everyone, I'm Francesca from Zen Journal Joy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how to recycle a junk mail and transform it in a beautiful vintage envelope for your junk journal. You need uh, um, junk mail, of course, something like this, and some elements for collage. For example, book pages, stamps, uh, tickets. I also want to use uh, some of my watercolor drawings that I made following a course by Lifei Design. The link is in the description box if you are interested. It's called uh, Watercolor Made Simple and it's true. It's Watercolor Made Simple. <laughs> so you can use something made by you, just like me, or, or for example, a postcard, digital or real. <laughs> or if you have uh, a beautiful magazine like Daphne's Diary, you can easily use some of the drawings that you can find on it. So the first thing to do is uh, create a base for the envelope using the junk mail. So take the journal where the envelope has two feet and fold or cut the excess of your junk mail like I'm doing right now. As you can see, when you close the journal, the pages pulls out the envelope, so keep that in mind. And fold again if this is necessary. Now the junk mail um, pick fruit a little, but uh, I like it, so uh, for me it's good, <laughs> like this. You can tear away this part, uh, or uh, you can decide to fold uh, and uh, use the stapler to secure everything together, like me, because in this way the envelope uh, will have more um, substance, you know? <laughs> and now we have to create uh, the base for the front. For example, using a book page, or you can use, uh, for example, tea or coffee stain paper. And you can use the glue for uh, add the two pieces together. I'm using a strong glue that is the flash bond. You can use the Fabri-Tac, or you can use a simple glue stick. Now take your main focal point, that in my case is my drawing, and cut the excess if uh, this is necessary. Okay, now it's uh, fit. And uh, it's time to add something on the back to create dimension. And I suggest you to <laughs> not be afraid to uh, cover beautiful things because the final result will be more uh, and more beautiful. Trust the process. So now I'm tearing away some parts because it's too large, too big. And now, as you can see, only with the two elements uh, underneath uh, is uh, more uh, interesting than before. And here I decided to tear uh, apart uh, my <laughs> drawing because uh, it is uh, too flat. And the space uh, between the flowers and the swatches uh, was uh, too big and unpleasant to watch. Now with a single piece of paper in uh, another um, color breaks the boring white. And if you have a wedding favor to recycle, for example, this is the time. Because you can use this special fabric to add interest even more to your collage. I call this fabric tulle. <laughs> Let me know in the comments <laughs> what is the, the right words to describe this fabric, please. And uh, as usual, I'm using a stapler to um, add everything together, but you can use uh, glue or uh, um, sewing this part, if you have a sewing machine. I don't know if you can see the shyness of uh, this uh, tool, but I think uh, it has uh, improved my drawings a lot. And I think it's a great way to use uh, the drawings not so good that you produce uh, along the way at the beginning when you are learning. And uh, not only <laughs> on the beginning, because uh, um, bad art, uh, it's uh, natural uh, to do. It's a part of the process, always. Now I'm adding some uh, other elements, for example, a piece of uh, book page, a stamp, uh, a ticket. And now it's a good time to use what you have, because, for example, uh, the ticket is vintage, and I don't know <laughs> where it's come from, I don't know. And the stamp uh, is from uh, AliExpress, I think. What that I'm using is from uh, Amity Bloom uh, Etsy shop. 
I will uh, link uh, down below her uh, Etsy shop. And uh, I decided to cut the, the phrases in little uh, pieces <laughs> because uh, in uh, this way I think it's more uh, pleasant to the eyes. And I like that uh, the first sentence is uh, on the top and uh, it's a little uh, harder to see. And it's uh, meaningful because the sentence is uh, I wish you could see and on the envelope it's hard to see. So this is uh, a way to reinforce visually the meaning that I wanted to convey. That is the full sentence. <laughs> I wish you could see how vivid the colors of your soul are. It's a little uh, twisted, maybe, <laughs> but I like so much when collage tell a story. Meanwhile, I had uh, with glue some cluster from an old project, a fabric one with bottoms, and a little clip because uh, there is uh, some white here, but <laughs> who knows? In the future, I will uh, add something, maybe. And it's done. Let me know in the comments what you think. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!